What's going on guys? Killer6 back with legendary item guide on the Revolter shield. In this video, I'll cover how to get it, break down how the shield works, and cover some of the other things that you should be on the lookout for with this item. So let's get right into it. The Revolter is a legendary shield manufactured by Hyperion, and the red text reads, please conduct yourself, which is a play on how the shield is always shock resistant and how it also on break causes the wearer to become shock enraged for 15 seconds. Shock enraged just basically means that you get a 50% fire rate bonus and a 200% shock damage bonus, which applies to your action skills, your melee, your grenades, and your weapons. The Revolter can be obtained by doing the first Ava murder mystery mission set on Promethea. You do need DLC six in order to get that. Go to Ava's quarter and sanctuary to begin this mission at the end of the mission you have to fight sumo killing him will give you a 30 percent chance at this drop he appears from this door every single time and you can start the farm from this location after you complete this mission the first time now all shields are a maximum of level 65 there is no mayhem level with that in mind at level 65 the stats on this particular one that i've got right here are 28,801 capacity 7.5 second recharge delay which you'll notice is very slow and it's kind of like the b shield in that regard as well but there's a good reason for that and then the recharge rate is 7243 and i got capacity recharge and health rolls on this particular version note that you can absolutely get double and triple rolls on this shield and some of the best ones to look out for are triple delay triple absorb triple health and triple adaptive absorb is probably the most sought after one since rolling a triple roll on that will give you the same bullet absorption rate as the transformer shield making you that much harder to kill that said a triple delay can be very effective since that will restore your shields quicker allowing you to trigger the shield special effects more often but ultimately use the rolls that work best within your build and your play style now the trick to using this shield to maximum efficiency is to get the action skill start anointment on it that's the one you want on all vault hunters that that way whenever you pop your action skill you automatically trigger the shock enraged effects giving you more damage for 15 seconds while using your action skill which is already your character's strongest moment so clearly Moe's becomes the odd one out with this shield as she lacks a spammable action skill like the others but even so I'd still be inclined to use the action skill start version on her as well since you could summon the cub if you have the fourth skill tree and then use your gun damage and do even more ridiculous stuff plus your cub will get the effects of this as well or and hear me out on this stay in iron bear I know nobody ever stays in iron bear because the special effects of the shield like i said before they apply to your action skill as well meaning that you can wreck even harder with iron bear than you already did before and if you've never used iron bear just know iron bear rex for zane this shield is absolutely ridiculous when paired with the purple tree as you can essentially spam the mantis cannon and trigger the action skill start anointment of the shield giving you non-stop revolter damage basically it's the b shield from borderlands 2 but it's always up and it's even stronger than that shield. Flak can use Fade Away or Rack Attack to spam the effects, and pairing this with Fade and Monarch makes everything easy mode. Finally, Amara can benefit greatly from the shield as she has the least gun damage of all the Vault Hunters currently. Pairing this with a Phase Cast or a Phase Grasp build, especially if you run Avatar to use your action skill twice in a row is just amazing. That said, you can even use this with Phase Slam, and if you roll Phase Slam 300% damage after Slam Anointments, then you're going to do some stupid damage damage with those guns this shield is essentially a love letter to all of those who love the b shield in borderlands 2 and not even like the final version of the b shield we're talking like the very first version of the b shield before it got nerfed it's crazy strong it's crazy good and it's a must-have for all four vault hunters in my opinion definitely do yourselves a favor do the ava murder mysteries there is some other amazing loot that you can only get by doing those things so make sure you do those as well i hope this guide to the revolter was helpful to you if it was then please take a second hit that like button hit subscribe and tap the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i post a new video you can click on one of the cards at the end of this video to see more legendary item guides as well thank you guys for watching take care